Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Seha Man and I'm back with another uh, figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Direct. This is the Blackest Night Series 3. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Larflees. And if you guys watched my haul video, you guys know that I just recently picked this figure up loose. I got it from my buddy Josh for an amazing price. So make sure you go check out his uh, his uh, booth at Frankenson's. Um, fantastic guy. He's got great prices. Uh, just go check him out if you guys are down here in Southern California. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a DC Direct uh, Blackest Night figure review. I haven't done one in, in um, uh, it's been a while. Um, when I first started on YouTube, I was doing a bunch of uh, Green Lantern figures, a lot of Blackest Night figures. So um, it's been it's been a while since I've done one, and this this is uh, a figure I've been wanting for a long, long time. And he, he can cost you a pretty pretty penny. I mean, in package, he goes for I think like maybe ninety to over a hundred dollars, even loose. I've seen him um, go for a hundred bucks, but out of the way here, let's go. Let's go over the accessories. He does come with an orange lantern, just like every other uh, DC uh, Direct Blackest Night figure. They come with this lantern here, with the clear part right in there. So nothing much to that. And then we get the um, his little buddy here. Oh my God! You know what? <laughs> His name totally just slipped my mind. I don't know how that happened, but his name just totally slipped my mind. Um, let me think, let me think. I totally forgot this guy's name. I, to I totally forgot this guy's name. Um, I hope it'll come back to me at the end of the video. If not, I'll just end up looking it up and putting it in the description below. I don't know how that happened, um, but I totally forgot this character's name and it's pissing me off but um, he looks pretty cool if you guys you guys need to read um, the blackest night um, um, comics or get the you know the paperbacks it's actually a really good really good story so we got this here this character why I forgot his name I don't know but he's got like a clear plastic which is he's kinda translucent which is really cool I love figures that are that are translucent you can see the detailing in the face he's got a long mouth he looks just like he does in the comics Got two little black beady eyes. He's got clear legs. He he does have a little bit a little bit of articulation. I mean the the legs can um they can rotate each one, and the arms have like a little swivel to them. But just be gentle because this guy looks like he he probably end up breaking easy. So that's 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 this guy he comes with again. Forgot his name. He's got the. Um, orange lantern symbol there. Really cool, really cool. I'm glad that um, I finally got to get this character. And uh, he also comes with the standard DC Direct um, orange lantern base. So you guys have seen these before if you guys collect the uh, Green Lantern DC Direct. Now let's take a look at uh, Larflees. The head sculpt on this guy is very, very nice. Really, really nicely detailed, and you can see like all the, like the hair and everything. They did a great job in sculpting that. It's got the horns, the teeth. Really cool, the wide eyes. Very, very nice figure. Now I think they're making a Mattel version of this, or they canceled it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still going to be um, made or not, or released. Uh, it looked pretty cool, but I'm actually this one. This one looks like it's going to be the better one, anyways. This is the only Larflees figure, figure we really have, but you know, if they do release it, I might pick it up, but I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a lot better. Uh, he does have long arms, you can see that there, they go all the way down to his knees. The orange on this figure is actually really nice, he's got the orange lantern symbol here on his uh, left shoulder and on the, on the center of his chest and on the right shoulder. There's the bottom, not much to say about anything else. I mean, it's DC Direct, so he's not going to have a lot of articulation, but I'll get into that in a minute. Now, his hands, he's got some nice detail in the hands. It looks really good, the way they uh, did the uh, paint and everything, and you can see the, um, the the ring. I don't know if I can focus this anymore. That's about it. So you can see the orange lantern ring there. And then the other hand. And that's pretty much it as far as... Uh, the way the figure looks, he's a nice figure, really, really nice. Um, now, in the way of his articulation, let's get this to zoom out. The head can go up and down, rotate side to side. Arms do go in and out, forward and back. He bend at the elbow, 
Uh, no waist articulation. The other arm has the exact same thing. Does have a swivel in the arm as well. The wrist can rotate. Legs go forward and back, bend at the knee, and that's pretty much it. But this is a figure I highly recommend. He's a little pricey. If you can get him for a, a really good deal, I mean, by all means, guys, pick this guy up because he is just a great figure. All right, guys, this is Seha Man. Today we were taking a look at the um, DC Direct Black uh, Green Lantern Blackest Night. This is Series 3. Today we were taking a look at Larflees. Hope you guys enjoyed my review, and we'll see you guys next time.